So to get started, I just want to give you a quick overview to the different areas of Process Street. Over here on the left, you have the sidebar, which is where your main navigation and controls are. You can control your user account settings and you can access the user guide from this drop down here. You can control your organization, invite members, edit your organization details, upgrade your organization, and invite and manage members on the organization cog here. And you can also change your organization by clicking on the organization name here and it will show you a list of all the different organizations that you control. The sidebar under there has four main elements, templates, tags, examples, and archives. Under templates, you can find all of your live process templates and jobs. Under tags, you can find the tags that you've tagged your different templates with. Under examples, you can find example process templates that we have created for you which you can easily browse and duplicate into your own templates and edit as you wish. And then under archives, you'll actually see all of your live and archived process templates and jobs. So really you're gonna go into archives if you archive something and you wanna see it later, but archives is generally something that you don't need to go into very often. One feature that I wanna quickly explain before I get started is the concept of process jobs. This is a feature that makes Process Street very unique compared to other project or task management tools out there. Process Street is not a competitor to project management tools. It is a process management tool and is specifically designed for recurring tasks, tasks that need to be done over and over again on a recurring basis, not for individual projects or tasks that may just need to be done once and then they're finished. An example of a task that would need to be done over and over again is onboarding a new employee. Every time an employee joins your organization, you need to onboard them. And here's an example process that we've made, which you can copy whenever you want. And it goes over the process of onboarding a new employee. So here you'd have, you'd contact the candidate, contact the reference, offer the job to the candidate, prepare the offer letter, request information, arrange drug screening, etc., etc. Now, once you've created your process template, you can actually go ahead and start the job. When you start a job, it spawns a new job here in the left. You can see here it's automatically labeled the job today's date and time. As you can see here under the manager onboarding checklist template that I have here, there are a number of open jobs currently and you can have a number of open jobs at different stages of completeness with Process Street. So here I could say, okay, I'm onboarding Bill Gates and you can see here on the left that it's renamed to Bill Gates and this would be the onboarding of Bill Gates, the individual employee. So I could go through and actually complete these different stages of the process, having access to all the information that I need here in this process, such as the reference check form that I might need to fill out and even videos that might give me tips on how to take better references. So me as a manager, I can come in and start this process job for the employee that I'm onboarding, Bill Gates, and go through and complete it. I could also be onboarding numerous employees at once, or other managers could be using this process template to onboard employees into their team. That's kind of a concept that is a big differentiator between Process Street and project management tools. It's the concept of creating a process template for a task that needs to be done multiple times, whether that be multiple times a day, multiple times a week, multiple times a month, or multiple times a year, it doesn't matter, but that same process is being done over and over again. And those are the kind of operational recurring tasks that Process Street was designed to help manage. Remember, you can always access the user guide from clicking here and selecting user guide by going into the example processes and finding the Process Street folder and clicking on the Process Street user guide template. Here you will find examples of how to use all the different features and functionality in the product with screenshots and step-by-step -step walkthroughs. So if there's anything you're not sure on how to do or you need more information, uh, just open up the Process Street user guide and everything that you need will be in there. If you do ever have any questions about anything in this video or any of the features or functionality, or you just wanna have a chat or you have any ideas about features that we can add into Process Street or anything like that, you can contact support at any time by clicking this link down here and typing in your message or by accessing support from the menu up the top.